All right, this new product that I want to review today is coming down the driveway right now. I'm ready. I'm excited. day I ended up getting the nugget it's the opal ice machine and uh, well of course obviously I'm gonna do your review on it this thing is huge all right let me get it out of here and then um, I'm gonna get it set up Ugh, gosh I need to go grab a knife This would not be RV friendly. I'll tell you that now. Thing is heavy. Very heavy. Extremely heavy. Ooh. There. This is something that I have been wanting for quite a long time, but the price kept me from doing it. But for Amazon Prime Day, hmm. Amazon Prime Day, it was $150 off, and you got an extra 6% off if you used your Amazon card. So, I got it. I had to have it. This one also come with the reservoir. The only thing that this one did not have that you could get was Wi-Fi, and uh, it was like another $100, and I really could care less to work this with my phone. And the side reservoir, which I like this, can be moved to either side. It doesn't have to be on the specific side. Mine on the left side. All right, I am going to push this back where it goes. Oh gosh. Um, I uh, oh, my phone. Everything's getting wet. The uh, the thing that plugs into the back of the reservoir came loose. <sighs> so that came way loose, quit easier than I think that it should. Now I gotta go get a towel because I have water everywhere. So it says that this process is normal and it's gonna do this for five minutes where it's just running the water. I just kept thinking something was wrong with it because it's just pouring water, but this is, says that this is the starting process. Also, want to tell you that it says that it's normal to make slush for the first 30 minutes of turning it on and then it will start making normal ice. This is how much it's made. After an hour, we have ice. It's a pickle. And look, little itsy bitsy ice. The thing that I'm not sure about right this minute is it took the whole reservoir to make one batch of ice. So I couldn't imagine not having the reservoir at this point, but this is just the first bag. All right. Ice batch two, it didn't use hardly any of the reservoir water, so it must have been something to do with the fact that it was the first batch. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna keep testing this out. I have been using this for a few weeks now, and there's a few things about this ice maker that I'm not a fan of. Having the ice, I love that more than anything. It holds a lot of ice. This GE Profile Opal Ice Maker. Mm, I love this thing. The only thing that I can say that I absolutely don't like about it, and this tray solves that, is whenever it's sitting here and you open it up, 
water drips down at the bottom. It's like condensation up underneath here. Well, it's actually all up under. It's condensation is all up underneath this basket. And it just, it leaks. It makes a mess. Now, it doesn't leak as bad as I just made it because I pulled it out. But when you go to pull it out, if you pull it out and pull it all the way out, it's gonna make that big of a mess. Now, it's gonna say it's out of the water. Make three, three and a half baskets of ice out of one reservoir. I couldn't imagine having this without a reservoir because having to keep the bottom filled, that would not be fun because it doesn't have a whole lot of room in there for the water. So that's a thing that I don't like. Two, it's very heavy. So this would never go in your camper. This would not be a camper friendly thing. It is extremely heavy. Like for me to get it up on the counter, it was very difficult. Also, it is hard to get the ice out of here into the bag. My old one, the basket size, I could dump it in the ice bag. With here, I scoop a few times with this and then I scoop the rest of it with the bigger cup to get it in the bag. That's the best way, because you can't pull it out and dump it, and obviously you see if you pull it all the way out, the condensation will get all over the place. I've made quite a few bags of this ice. I've just been keeping them in the freezer. This is a 10 pound bag, and I know that it says it makes five pounds of ice, but I typically been putting about three of these in here to fill this up. The reservoir is super easy to fill. You just take this, unscrew it, fill this up, put that back on, put it back in there, and it works great. Now, granted, I haven't had a problem other than the first time that I was moving this around. The supply line to the water came out from behind here and I had water going everywhere. <laughs> but I haven't had that problem and I've kind of not moved it around a lot, but I have filled this up a few times and it has not pulled off like it did that very first time. I am so glad that I got this on sale on Amazon Prime Day. I will put the link in the description box to it. I know that it's more expensive, but maybe it'll go back on sale and you can get it too. I could do that all day long. This does take up a big space. It is, without the basket on the front, it's right at 14 inches deep. With the reservoir, which I would not tell you to do it any other way, without the reservoir, it's 14 inches. So if you've got, you're gonna have to have a 14 inch by 14 inch space for this to go. We luckily have this big game room that we have it in and it fits perfect and I can just walk down the steps and get the ice from right here because I normally have it pushed back in the corner. I kind of turned it this way <laughs> so y'all can see it. Tell you how tall it is. It's 17 inches tall. It's for the most part, it's pretty quiet except when it first kicks on, it sounds like a refrigerator running when it's freezing the ice. But other than that, it's nothing crazy sounding. It says that it takes about five minutes to do one batch of ice, and I've been seeing it around five to seven minutes to make a batch each time. They also, I don't have it, but they do make a filter, a water filter that you can put in here. There's different lights on here. If it is a solid white light, that means the basket is full. If it kind of fades in and out, that means it's making ice. And if it is blue, that means you need to add water. I would 100% recommend this product. Till next time, like and subscribe.